welcome to Steady Diecasting Solution. My name is Bharat Sharma, and uh, today we talk about the uh, casting defect. Uh, and casting defect, especially uh, due to the poor molten metal quality. So, casting defect can have uh, many causes, and uh, this video is uh, all about the casting defect and uh, resulting from the poor molten metal quality. If molten metal quality is not maintained, casting defect uh, can occur. So we'll discuss in this video uh, which type of defect uh, can occur due to the poor molten metal quality. After this video, and you can identify the major type of casting defect caused by the poor metal uh, melting and the handling practices. You can also able to the explain the cause of a major type of casting effect caused by poor metal melting and handling practices you can this uh, you can use this information to uh, to the type of casting defect you can also use this information to improve or maintain the casting quality in your uh, facility <coughs> while there are many potential die casting defects several may be caused by poor metal melting and uh, handling practices this figure uh, photo micrograph of uh, 380 aluminium alloy at uh, 100x showing typical structure of uh, clean metal the sample was cast at uh, 1200 to 1210 degree fahrenheit this is the structure that should be found if the melting and handling practice are good the poor handling and oxide growth this figure is a sample that was uh, uh, taken from a holding unit at the casting machine that was allowed to set uh, for 72 hours at a 1185 degree Fahrenheit without a disturbance. Note the oxide film and the primary silicon crystal growing on the oxide. Also note the coarser uh, grain structure. Metal in this condition exhibits poor casting and machining characteristics. It is recommended that after 72 hours of uh, extension uh, holding furnace should be emptied and uh, refilled with a clean metal if time allow the furnace should be brought up up to 1350 degree fahrenheit stirred thoroughly flushed and drossed off if electric global holding units are used that cannot be done this furnace should be emptied and uh, refilled the metal from the holding unit should be sent back to the central melt area for reprocessing Alloy segregation. This figure is an example of a poor alloying practice. A copper addition to 380 alloy was required to bring the percent copper up to plant working specification of 3 to 3.5% copper. The copper was added in the form of copper bar stock. After the furnace was sampled and approved for production, another sample was taken from the first ladle, tapped from the furnace and sent to the lab for analysis. The lab reported a copper content of 4.5%. Uh, a photomicrograph revealed the segregated condition. It was found there had not been sufficient time or steering around to get the material into solution. Copper as well as zinc can segregate towards the bottom of furnace when they are first added. When the furnace is tapped, a higher concentration might run out the tap, hole into the first ladder. It is best to add alloying element in the form of master alloy for example 80 aluminium 20 copper or 80 aluminium 20 silicon or 90 aluminium 5 fe etc if available the binary aluminium copper alloy of 33 percent copper 67 percent aluminium would be the easiest way to add copper units sludge this figure is an example of a sludge which consists of uh, iron, magnesium and uh, chromium along with silicon and copper. Sludge can contain as much as 20% iron and half as much magnes and uh, is hard enough to break a uh, carbide tool. <coughs> sludge is formed by allowing the metal temperature to fall below the sludge factor for the combination of iron, magnes and uh, chromium percent. If the temperature is too low for the percentage of heavy element, for example, like uh, iron, magnes, chromium, sludge crystal will form and fall out to the bottom of the furnace. 
when this occur the element take considerable time going back into solution the temperature must be raised substantially to dissolve the sludge sludge inclusion create a poor casting and machining characteristics to prevent the formation of sludge the metal must be held at a temperature higher than the sludge factor for the combination of uh, iron manganese and chromium percent holding temperature and fluctuations this figure is an example of the build up of uh, sludge on the bottom uh, of a holding furnace at the casting machine this forms when a furnace is allowed to sit at temperature below the sludge factor temperature or uh, when a furnace is charged faster than the molten path can melt when cold metal is charged this causes the heavy element to uh, precipitate and fall to the bottom once the plate structure form on bottom it can only be removed by replacing the lining material often times personnel will complain that the iron suddenly increase in the alloy this is often brought about by an increase in metal temperature which puts some of uh, aluminum silicon uh, uh, iron manganese chromium back into solution thus rising the iron content then when the metal temperature drops down again the iron drops out and the iron percentage returns to the normal iron can fluctuate as much as uh, 0.5% during a 4 hour period due to the lack of uh, temperature control alloyed iron has been known to drop as low as 0.5% uh, and thereby cause soldering and hot cracking on the die surface and the core pins corundum this figure show uh, an x ray of a hard spot found in a casting and this figure is a photograph of a photo micrograph of this same casting revealing that the hard spot is uh, uh l2o3 corundum the hardest material next to a diamond this form of aluminum oxide is found at the metal line on the walls of furnace it uh, develop extremely fast in uh, electric furnace if there are air leak or an ex excessive amount of oxygen is present in the photo the corundum eventually got into the casting when personnel were not careful while cleaning the furnace to prevent the formation of this material the furnace must be tightly sealed the manufacture procedure for maintaining the high efficiency electric holding furnaces must be rigidly followed to uh, severe problem can develop corundum if encountered during the machining operation will chip or break a carbide tool extreme care must be exercised to assure that the all the material is removed during the cleaning operation shorting This figure is an example of entrapped gas caused by excessive graphite plunger lube and shorted metal. Note the ball of metal in the gas pocket. The shorted metal was caused by metal splattering up in the cavity, breaking away from the main stream and freezing. Then it is surrounded by a main stream of metal. This is often caused by cold die and uh, excessive velocity through a thin gate causing a semi atomized uh, effect. These small balls of metal run ahead of the main stream and freeze and then are uh, engulfed in the main mass a few millisecond later. They show up on machine surface as shiny spots since the balls of metal are encased in the in a an oxide film. These images uh, are example of shorted metal note the oxide film uh, in this figure shorted metal can also be caused by excessive turbulence in die caused by insert or by having several core pins in the metal flows this image show a fracture casting with a ball of uh, shorted metal and this image is the same fracture with the ball removed sometime a customer will complain of porosity in the casting when it may be shorted metal the that uh, popped out while being machined it leaves a void that looks like porosity cold pouring this image is an example of the result of uh, pouring cold metal and using excessive lube in the short sleeve the alloying element have uh, separated and the graphite lube is mixed into the metal the metal was so cold that it would not uh, flow properly into the die cavity and uh, the operator keep uh, keep increasing the amount of lube to get the metal flowing okay so now we reach to uh, the summary so we can summarize with this point 
many defects can occur from improper metal melting and handling each of these can be prevented by following proper procedure knowing the characteristic of the defect helps identify the problem so it can be quickly corrected so thank you thank you very much i hope uh, it will help you and uh, keep sharing these videos and uh, keep learning till that thank you thank you very much Thank you.